Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church this morning. Amen. Amen. It is Holy Communion time. And I would just want us, as usual, to open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's read together. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm just going to start from verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. 27. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick, among you and many sleep. Amen. I want to thank the Lord God Almighty for his grace and mercy and for giving us another opportunity. Amen. Especially the, the first Sunday of, the, of, of a new year, you know, to come to the table and partake of um, his body and his blood. Amen. It is, it, is a, it is a privilege and we should not take it for granted. Hallelujah. I just want to bring to our attention from our reading some of the things that can make us unworthy again to partake, amen? And we should take it seriously. Praise the Lord. We should take this thing seriously. This is not a religious rite that we are doing. It's more than just, you know, opening the and breaking this um, element and just eating and drinking and, you know, and just going. It is more than that, amen? So I, I just beseech us by God's mercy that we should do it with fear and reverence this morning as unto the Lord. Here are some of the things that I think are from the reading, some of the things that can make us unworthy. Amen. It says it's clearly there. Strife. Amen. Malice. You just didn't want to put everything out. Bitterness. Hatred in the house of God. Amen. You can talk to your brother. You can talk to your sister. And you want to partake of the table. Please, let's not deceive ourselves. Amen. It is just not right. And God has given us an opportunity. Tomorrow might be too late. Malice, strife, and everything. It's, it has to be kept out. And according to Isaiah chapter 58 that we read, they said it. Throwing fists at each other. That's what it's just saying. Fighting in the house of God. We cannot say we are the same body. And all these things are going on. It doesn't bring blessings. Amen? Another thing that can make us unworthy to partake is if you're unsaved. Amen? Don't deceive yourself. I mean, if I'm standing here and I'm not saved, I better get saved right now. Praise the Lord. So if you are here, you have not known the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you are just partaking, you are just, it's just like you are eating bread. Amen? And you are just drinking. There's nothing spiritual attached to it. So here's that you have an opportunity this morning to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, to receive Him as your Lord and Savior, to accept Christ into your heart. Amen? Praise the Lord. Another thing that can make you unworthy to partake or make me unworthy to partake is, is our, our attitude towards the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ is one body. Amen. Irrespective of your race. It is not a black, this is not a black church. Amen. We might be just all black here today, but we know that it's not a black church. Everyone is welcome white black jewish everyone from all over the world amen? amen so we are not doing it's not a black religion and it's not a white religion the body of christ is the body of christ it has no color 
no Gentiles, no Jew, nobody, no African, nobody. Amen? So you have to understand that when you're partaking, when you're eating the bread, you're saying, I am part of this body. The body of Christ, which is a worldwide thing. Amen? It's not the Dunamis Life Chapel, it's not only the body of Christ. The body of Christ are all Christians all over the world. Amen? So you're identifying with the body of Christ. So the things that concern the body of Christ have to concern you. The issues that we are dealing with, we have to deal with it together. Amen? So when you understand that, you will not look at your brother and, someone, and, and condemn your brother somewhere else. You know? Or if the Spirit of God is moving the church this way, you are the only one the Spirit of God is moving this way. I mean, the body is one. So those are just some of the, some of the things that I beseech us by God's mercy to examine this morning as we come to this table. This is a new year. Let us come with a new beginning. Amen? A new mindset. Romans 12, chapter 1 says, I beseech you, brethren, one of my favorite verses, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him, which is your reasonable service. Amen? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you might prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So I want us to take some time to just pray this morning, amen? Just have a, you know, a communication with your father this morning. Commune with the Lord Jesus and just pour your heart. If there's anything that you need to deal with, just deal with it right now. If you're here, you can talk to your brother, you can talk to your sister, you're quarreling, please make peace, amen? It's not worth it at all. It belongs. The Bible says when you do that, you bring judgment on yourself, not discerning the body. Let's take it. They're just saying that we should, we should deal, deal with this thing with a lot of fear and trembling and respect unto Jesus Christ. The only one who shed his blood, who, who broke his body, he died for you and I. We should not take it for granted and just, you know, do it anyhow. Shall we pray? Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I come before you this morning. Lord Jesus, I come and bring my heart just as I am. I say, Father, if there's anything in me that will make me unworthy this morning, I don't want to bring judgment unto myself. Lord, I come and I descend your body this morning. And I appreciate your, your, your going to the cross and just breaking your body for me so that today I can live. I appreciate your blood of the new covenant. Lord, I, I just want to appreciate it this morning. And Lord, I just don't want anything to come between you and I. And Lord Jesus, I let go of everything in me that does not bring glory to your name. Everything, every attitude, some of us, our mindset. You know, you need to, you need to begin to cleanse your mind of un unfilthy thoughts. Sexual immorality, adultery, and all those things that go through, you know, the, the, your imaginations that are not pure before God. Begin to ask God to just wash your mind. That's why I beseech you by God's mercy. You know, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just come before God in the name of Jesus. If you want to just make peace with your brother, with your sister this morning, just make peace with that one that you cannot stand. You know, just make peace no matter what the person has done. Just let go. Let's humble ourselves in the presence of the Most High God. Let us not deceive ourselves this morning. Father, we humble ourselves. Confess every sin. Those sins, just think about the year 2018. Think about the sins that so easily beset you. The things, the habits that held you captive and bound. Say, Lord, deliver me in the name of Jesus this morning. Oh, Father God, this first Sunday of the year 2019. Father, we don't want to enter, though, continue with the baggages of last year, Lord. We shed all the, those weight, you know. There's a place in the Bible, I think it's in the book of Ephesians, I can't remember. It said, put off the old you. Put it off. Put it off. And put on the new you, which is Christ. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. It is worth going with Jesus all the way. It is worth going with Christ all the way. It is worth picking up your cross and say, I deny myself and I will die for the Lord Jesus. It is worth it. It is worth the one who gave his own life so, so that you can have eternal life. He shed his blood. He, he broke his body for you. It is really worth it. Let's give it all to him. Is there anyone amongst us that needs to confess the Lord Jesus Christ today as your personal Lord and Savior? Please do. Please do. Please do. Let's let go of every superfluity of nothingness, things that don't glorify God, every filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit. 
in wrong intentions, bad intentions, evil intentions in the house of God. Let us let it go this morning in the name of Jesus. And let's embrace the Lord Jesus. Let us identify ourselves with his, with his blood and with his body. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we pass out the elements in Jesus' name? Take in Jesus' name. this morning amen just give him praise it is the most wonderful thing for you to be long to the body of Christ amen it is a privilege hallelujah so many people feel they should be but they cannot it's just a privilege just just lift up our voice and just say thank you Jesus for counting me worthy to be part of your body for counting me worthy to be part for shedding your blood for me just bless his holy name and just say Lord I thank you this morning I bless your name Oh Lord, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. Knowing Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Being my name written in the book of life. Father, we give you praise and worship and glory and honor. We say thank you. Thank you for your body that was broken for us. Father, Lord Jesus, for us to have eternal life. Thank you for your blood of the new covenant in Christ Jesus. Lord, we are grateful. And so, Lord Jesus, this morning we say everything that the body of Christ represents and His blood. Father God Almighty, every benefit is ours this year, 2019 and beyond in Jesus' name. My Lord and my God, we pray that even as we have identified ourselves with Christ this morning, Father Lord Jehovah God, I ask that nobody under the sound of my voice will be found wanting on that day when the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise 
you will not be found wanting in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say, blessed be your holy name. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we um, go into this fasting and praying, oh God, we go in the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus Christ was led into the wilderness to fast 40 days and 40 nights by the Spirit of God. My Lord and my God, because of your body this morning and your blood that was shed for us, we receive grace, we receive strength, we receive your power to go in this fast. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, even as I desire for myself, I desire for everyone here, that Lord, this fasting and praying periods will change and transform our lives for eternity. In the mighty name of Jesus. And lastly, Lord, I pray, like everyone, I pray, everyone will see Jesus. I don't know how you are going to see Jesus. But if you desire to see Jesus this morning, just say, Lord, I desire to see you. And say, Lord, let everyone, Father, even as we have part, we partook, oh God, and we broke bread together, and we, we, we drank the cup of your new covenant, which is your blood together, let everyone see Jesus. Let everyone see Jesus. Let everyone see Jesus. Reveal yourself to us in a new and spectacular way. In the mighty name of Jesus. We say thank you Lord. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Come on begin to bless the name of the Lord. Once again begin to appreciate God. Begin to give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. We are in the fasting season. Come on begin to bless the name of the Lord. Once again this morning for the opportunity that he has given you an heart. To partake in this time of fasting. You partook last year, God sustained you throughout last year. Come and begin to bless the name of the Lord once again. And say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the privilege that you have given me to seek you. I thank you for the opportunity you have given me to come before you in the time of fasting and prayer. I thank you for your grace, oh God. I thank you for counting me worthy. Come and open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to appreciate Him this morning. Begin to give Him praise. What a great privilege, what a great honor, even to come before God and to seek Him in the place of fasting and prayer. He says certain things cannot be done, we cannot break through in certain areas until we fast and pray. Come and begin to thank God for the opportunity that He has given you to fast. Thank Him for the opportunity that He has given you to pray. Thank Him for the opportunity to seek the King of Kings, to seek the Lord of Lords, to seek great healer, to seek great deliverer, to seek your father. Come and begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. You have not come to thank God who is dead. You have come to seek God who is alive. You have come to seek God who answers prayer. You have come to seek God who answers by fire. Come and begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning and say, Father, I thank you for this opportunity. Even to seek your face in the place of fasting, to seek your face in the place of prayer. Let the name of the Lord this morning and appreciate it. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Enter into his court with thanksgiving this morning. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Acknowledge him. Don't rush into prayer this morning without thanking him. Don't rush into praying this morning without appreciating him. God is interested in you praising him. God is interested in you acknowledging his faithfulness and his mercy. I say, Father, I just want to thank you. Somebody come and wave your hand to the Lord this morning. I say, Father, I just want to give you this wave of me to say thank you. I want to give you this wave of me this morning to appreciate you. Thank you for being so good to me. Thank you for being so kind to me. Thank you for being so faithful to me. Thank you for being so faithful to us as a church. Thank you for you said you will build your church and the guests of us shall not prevail. Father, I thank you, O God, and I give you praise. Glory be to your name, O God. Hallelujah be to your name, O God. In Jesus' name we are praying. I want to pray and ask God, even as we lift up our hands this morning, I say, Father, I receive the strength that I need, even to fast through and to pray through. Even as I come before you in this time of prayer, in this next 21 days, Lord, I receive strength to pray through, and I receive power to pray through. I receive grace to pray through, and I receive strength to fast through. Come and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I say, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
will need strength from above. The Bible says those that wait upon the Lord, their strength shall be renewed. Come and begin to ask God this man says, For even as I seek your face, renew my strength in the place of prayer. Renew my strength even as I wait on you. Renew my strength in the place of fasting. Renew my strength, O oh God. My human strength cannot carry me forth. My human strength will fail me. Therefore, Lord, I tap into your grace this morning and I tap into your strength. Therefore, Lord, I pray that you will renew my strength in the name of Jesus. I don't just want to fast to, to please myself. I don't want to please pastors. I don't want to please human beings. But I want to please your God. Because my fasting is unto you. My fasting is not to any man. Therefore, Lord, I ask this morning that you will renew my strength. I ask this morning that your grace will be sufficient for me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7 says, Let the wicked, verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the righteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for we are abundantly pardoned. I want us to pray and ask God and say, Father, even during this time of fasting, I forsake my wicked ways. In the name of Jesus, I will not please my flesh. I will not please my emotion. I forsake my wicked ways. I confess my wicked ways and I repent for my wicked ways. I confess my wicked ways and I repent for my wicked ways. In the name of Jesus, I repent for malism. I repent for unforgiveness. I repent for bitterness. I repent for anger. I repent for lie. I repent for disobedience. In the name of Jesus, if you want your first to be acceptable before God you need to confess your sins before God because God will not hear the prayer of a sinner. The prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God. Therefore I want you to pray this morning and say Father I humble myself. I don't just want to fast in vain. I don't want to pray in vain. I don't want to seek you in vain. I understand that sin of God of Israel can hinder my prayer. Therefore Lord I pray this morning that you will seek me and find me out and search me oh God and find me out. Every element of sin in me, every element of ungodliness in me, every element of wickedness in me, this morning, Lord God of freedom, I repent for my wicked wisdom. This morning, Lord God of freedom, I repent for my wicked wisdom and I forsake my wicked wisdom so that my prayer and my sacrifice can be acceptable before you. In the name of Jesus, have your way, O God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. I want to pray and ask God and say, Father, every form of accusation, even as I seek your face as an individual, as a family, and as a church. Any way that devil may want to accuse one individual or a member of a family to hinder our prayer from being acceptable before you, Lord, we ask instead of wrath, remember mercy. Let your mercy speak for every prayer point. Let your mercy avail for every prayer request. Even as we seek your face, call it corporately. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, your word says you will abundantly pardon. You said in your word, O God of Israel, that you will have mercy on us. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, every accusation, every condemnation, in any way, O God of Israel, that devil may want to hinder our prayer, my God and my Father, as a result of the sin of an individual as a result of the sin of a family. We pray this morning, O oh God, that you will have mercy. We pray this morning, O oh God, that you will forgive us. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I want to lift up our hands and say, Father, even as we seek your faith in the time of fasting, let our heavens be opened. In the name of Jesus, that our heavens shall not become brass, but our heavens shall be opened and the angels of the living God will be ascending and descending even upon every prayer request that will bring before God. Come on up your mouth and begin to pray. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we operate under the benefits of open heaven that our prayer of God of freedom, my Father, my God, our heavens shall not become brass. We don't want to fast in vain. We don't want to labor in vain. We don't want to seek 
you in vain. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning, even as a church of God, let our heavens be opened. Let our heavens be opened. Let our heavens be opened. And pour down your blessings. And pour down answers. And pour down testimonies. And pour down breakthrough. And pour down healing. And pour down revival. Even upon every prayer request that will take before you. In the name of Jesus, we ask this morning, oh God, let our heavens be opened. Let our heavens be opened. As a church of God, upon individual, upon every family, let our heavens be opened. In the name of Jesus, we depend on you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Second to the last prayer, but I want us to pray and say, Father, give me the faith that I need, even for such a time like this, to believe you, even for what it is impossible for men. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray in Jesus' name. Without faith, you cannot please God. Without faith, we cannot receive anything from God. Therefore, Lord, we pray this morning that we increase our faith, even as we seek you, O God. Have our faith in you, O God. We pray, my God and my Father, that you will give us the faith that we need to believe you, O God of freedom, for great things, to trust your God of freedom for mighty things. In the name of Jesus, increase my faith, increase our faith as a church, increase our faith as a family. In the name of Jesus, to believe you, to trust you, and to hold on to your word. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we are praying. Lastly, I want us to pray and ask God and say, Father, may I remember this time of fasting as the day of divine encounter, as the day of turnaround, as the day of breaking through and breaking forth. May I remember this time of fasting as the day that the Lord visited me, as the day that the Lord turned around my situation. Shall we begin to pray in Jesus' name? My God and my Father, your word says the house of Jacob will not seek you in vain. Therefore, my God and my Father, we pray, O God of Israel, that we seek your faith individually and as a family and as a church, O God. May we remember this time of fasting and I remember, O God of Israel, when she went to the temple and she tarried in your presence and she cried out to you, you opened her womb, you gave her a God of fear, reason to rejoice and to remember God of fear what you did in Shalom. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, even as we seek your face, O God of fear, in this time of fasting and prayer, we are asking, O God, that each one of us, each one of us, each one of us shall have a divine experience, a divine encounter that will remember for life. In the name of Jesus, let this time of fasting be different from the one we've ever had. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. Come on, begin to bless the name of the Lord, begin to appreciate Him, begin to acknowledge Him, begin to give Him praise, and begin to give Him glory, begin to thank Him for what God is going to do. Even this time of fasting, begin to appreciate Him for what He's going to do. Begin to acknowledge Him because, yes, the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. We adore your name, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus.